How's it going, everybody? I am back in Fallout 4, and I'm at Nordhagen Beach. So, I have a few videos recorded here at Nordhagen. Um, I actually have finished, like, a portion of the settlement, and then I kind of just just lost inspiration completely to build here. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have a few videos here. Probably going to return at some point, but... I actually think that this is probably one of the cooler places that I've built. Probably one of the most scrappy looking uh, settlements that I've worked on. Uh, I just, it's a lot of stuff thrown together to look as cool as I could get it. So, the whole idea is that um, after the bombs dropped, a lot of these boats kind of washed up onto shores and stuff like that. And. I really took inspiration from the, like, Raider settlement, uh, what's it called? Liber Libertalia? Something like that? I'm not even sure anymore. Yeah, I think it's Libertalia. Um, but... I kind of took inspiration from that. It's not quite... It's big, obviously. I don't have a whole lot of room on this edge of the settlement. Um, it's a very small, like, area over here uh, of water to work with. So I just did what I could with this area. And uh, the idea is just to have these kind of walkways uh, around boats that are going to house people and stuff like that. I'm not going to have, like, one massive boat turned over with a bunch of houses in it. I thought about doing it with a smaller boat, but I ended up not doing that at all just because uh, Quapa is really a pain to try to use, um, especially with something big like that. Um, it's hard to place these boats anyway most of the time, especially the bigger ones that I was looking at. Uh, but I ended up just really placing a couple boats down. Uh, but this is just one of the boats that I work with. The others will be... or The other builds are going to be coming up here soon. But a lot of the builds in this settlement are based around vehicles and stuff like that. Um, I thought about building a dock or something around here. Um, but I just never really got around to it. Um, but I do have some interesting ideas. And then... Uh, I'm finally, after this settlement, I'm going to be moving on to Far Harbor. So I finally started working on Far Harbor, um, getting them all unlocked on this save, uh, which is something I've needed to do for a really long time, and then just never really got around to doing it. But I'm finally actually going to do it. I'm going to move on to Far Harbor after this, because uh, people have been requesting Far Harbor for a really long time. So... Hopefully that can be here soon. It's going to be over the next, like, probably a couple of weeks. Because right now, I actually am sitting on, like, 12 videos or so. And, yeah, that's a lot of content that you guys probably could have had sooner. But I've basically been recording them for the last, like, three weeks. And then now I have to do voiceovers on, like, 12 videos. So that's going to suck and i still have ideas for the the far harbor settlement uh i keep losing stuff i've lost two builds uh i found sort of like a little loophole with the uh zero kilobyte save issue but it was working fine until the most recent update on fallout 4 and so now it only works like every now and then so like with far harbor so basically all it is is you do whatever you want to do, you get the zero kilobyte glitch somehow, uh, and you're like, oh no, I don't want to lose anything, so you go ahead and you try to save it or whatever. Uh, what you're going to want to do actually is you're going to do an exit save. Um, that's the, the best way that I've got it to work so far, is that... You exit save, and then it should go back to the main menu. Mine always freezes at the main menu. I don't know if that's necessarily what 
It's going to happen for everybody, but as soon as you get to the main menu, it freezes, whatever. You turn your PlayStation off completely, not rest mode, whatever. You turn it off completely. I just hold the touch button, or hold the PlayStation Home button down, or whatever console you're on getting it, I guess. I guess that might work. I just turned it all the way off. Um, and I think one of the issues that causes it is that the cache on the PlayStation isn't getting cleared often enough. Um, if you leave your PlayStation in rest mode a lot, I know that that really doesn't help, but that's usually what I do. I leave my PlayStation in rest mode. Um, more recently, I've started to actually delete, th or not delete things, turn things off whenever I am uh, done playing. I'll, I'll make a save for whatever I need. Um, but whenever I make that exit save and I load back into the game, I immediately make a hard save. Uh, but like I was saying from the most recent update on PlayStation, or for um, Fallout 4, I actually have lost two builds in the last couple days. Thankfully, they're pretty simple. It's nothing like too hard to recreate, so I wasn't... I was still upset, especially this most recent one, actually. This one was actually kind of a pain in my ass, so um pretty bummed out about losing that one, but, um, yeah, hopefully I can recreate it pretty easy now that I have, like, an idea of what I need to do anyway, and then I can get these videos out to you guys over the next couple weeks. I'll probably go back to the three videos a week schedule uh, since I've got like a month's worth of videos recorded and uh, and yeah hopefully hopefully I can come up with some more ideas for this settlement because I want this settlement to be a pretty big settlement and I've already got a general idea like I said for um, my Far Harbor one of the settlements I'm doing there and then obviously there's two more I'm not sure what I want to do with either of the other two the one I'm doing is the Dalton Farm I think the one that's got the house, let me see, yeah, so, I don't think it's Dalton Farm, one of the other settlements, uh, the one with the old guy in it. I don't quite remember what it was. You have to, uh, Mitch sends you there to to save his uh, grandfather, I think. But um, but yeah, that place. You guys probably know what I'm talking about. I'm working on that place right now. Uh, I never really got into Far Harbor settlements that much, even on like the original game like on my original save, so, um, it's the National Parks Visitor Center, that's, that's the settlement, and then, I forgot about Longfellow's Cabin completely, uh, that I could build there, so, I guess that I could do something there eventually too, I've never built there before, I never really used Longfellow that much as a, su a follower anyway, I think I used him while I was in Far Harbor, uh, and then, never again really, but, yeah, I still have Dalton Farm and Echo Lake Lumber uh, to work on, so those will be um, fun to mess around with. I have to kind of come up with some ideas for that place first, or those places first, but, yeah, it'll be kind of cool to be able to do that. Um whenever I eventually do, but, um, yeah, about the build, actually, so, like I said, it's like a boat house, somebody is gonna live here, I, I do some more stuff to it after, um, after this, but I wanted to have this, like, tower up here, so they have, like, a guard post, and, uh, I eventually assign the guy that's usually, uh, farming over there to work at the guard post and he 
actually walks up in there and uses the tent. Or, well, I don't know if he necessarily walks up there because he basically was just spawned in when I teleported back. Teleported? Fast traveled back? So <laughs> a better word for that. Um, but, but yeah, uh, right now I'm just kind of making this place look a little bit more secure, building like sort of a doorway. I just want this place to look really, really scrappy. And, uh, from what it looks like now compared to like what it ends up looking like, uh, you guys are going to be probably pretty pleased cause I'm pretty happy with how it all turns out. Uh, I thought that it turned out pretty good. So I just straightened this out right here. And then we got a little doorway. I have to make sure it's sunk in enough. And then, yeah, we got a little doorway. I think I try to narrow it a little bit with these, but or not maybe I don't know it's been a long time since I built this this was probably at the beginning of August when I actually built this like I said I've been sitting on videos basically all this month the junk walls I built around uh, this part of the settlement are not really that useful because they kind of go into the water a little bit and then stop because I don't really know what else to I mean, I don't feel like I should have junk walls go all the way down there into the water. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. I don't have any ideas about how to fix that. But it'd be cool to hear what you guys think. Right here on this side, I think I do. But the other side, I didn't really want to connect it to the boat or anything. Because uh, I had a location for that to connect to. So it made a little bit more sense. But... On the other side, I really didn't have any idea what I was supposed to do with it. But, yep, just trying to make uh, the area a little bit more secure. Uh, my idea for this is I'm going to have basically two parts of the settlement. That's my general idea of what I wanted to do with this place. Is There's going to be this section which is going to be mostly where everybody lives and everything like that and then up where the farm is i wanted to have basically where they all work out of it's going to be like most of the shops and everything because i do have one shop in this area of the settlement that i end up uh building on to one of these other builds but um most of the shops and stuff I want up on that end, as well as like the farm and everything like that. Uh, I kind of wanted those out on, or up on the land up there. So um, if you guys have any ideas for that part of the settlement, please let me know because that's kind of why I left this place is I didn't know what else to do about that. So as you can see, I threw some decorations on stuff, uh, made the junk wall look a little scrappier, added like this... Uh, broken van that has the hermit crab in it in Far Harbor. All this junk laying out in front of the the actual settlement. I put a Mirelurk um, like spike thing between the junk wall right there and the, the boat so that it looks a little bit more closed off. But yeah. Little walkway. It actually works pretty well. Uh, there's not a bunch of huge gaps or anything like that. I don't have to use um, too much extra stuff. And then, yeah, just um, this walkway over here leads down to an area where there's like some fishing stuff and chairs so someone can relax down here and got a view over the, the shoreline and the settlement mostly. Uh, depending on how much more I build on that side. Most of the, the rest of the settlement is going to be on this side of the settlement, uh, or this side of the boat, the front end of the boat. i uh, got a walkway up here leading up to the tower. Got some supplies up here. 
And like I said, this one's got a nice view over the shoreline, the bridge, even across the river. So I feel like that's a decent spot. And then walk down, they got some supplies. They boarded up the the front of the boat a little bit. Not quite as much as they could, but uh, I didn't really want to do it too much. <laughs> uh, then walk around. We got a nice little living area. I added a floor in here so that I could actually place down decorations and furniture. Staircase leading upstairs. Um, at first it just started with a little roof piece. A bunch of supplies inside the boat as well. But at first it started with just that roof piece and I was like I'm gonna add a staircase and actually let them walk up here and have some furniture and stuff like that so yeah I really like the way that this looks I like the way that it turned out uh, let me know what you guys think of this build let me know if there's anything else that you guys want to see me build here um, more specifically on the land side of the settlement um, I've got a couple more builds here like four more builds I think and then like a little unfinished tour and I'll see you guys in the next video have a good one